Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, December 13th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First, quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can then use those free $60 bucks on my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, uh, listen, eight-unit play. Only one of the regular season goes on Sunday in the NFL for me. I've also got Monday night football. Uh, you can grab them both right now over on my homepage at DocSports.com. Coming off a big Saturday, we cashed all three college football plays and I sweep, including our top play on Utah over Colorado. Uh, we also had Rutgers plus the points. We had Troy plus the points over Coastal Carolina. Troy almost got the win outright, let alone covering that spread. Uh, so a nice 3-0 sweep there. Add in college basketball, one play on Saturday. TCU, which really took care and dismantled Texas A&M from start to finish. We cashed that one one also, so a nice 4-0 and college football, college basketball sweep. And going back to Friday night, you know, we cut that video. We had Villanova. They were down by 18 in the first half, laying 11 and a half. Didn't think they'd come back. They did. They beat uh, Georgetown by 13, covering that number. So after that win, after Saturday's win, we are now 12-1. and That's uh, with our last 13 college basketball sides and up over $5,200 for $100 per unit betters going all the way back to November 26th. And for the season overall, sides in totals in college basketball we'll head into Sunday 14 and 3 with our 17 plays. I got college basketball on Sunday, but again, star of the show on Sunday, eight unit in the NFL plus Monday night football available right now at DocSports.com. We'll look to stay red hot coming off the big Saturday in college football and college basketball. You can check that out on my homepage. Also, before we jump into our free pick, which is the clash between the Vikings and the Buccaneers, real quick betting update. Uh, there's not a lot of sharps versus squares at this point of the week. Uh, we're seeing a lot of agreement. There are a couple. Uh, the public is taking all those big, giant, juicy points with the Jets over the Seahawks. 14 and a half, 15 is the spread. About 55% of those tickets are on the Jets, but the money's been coming in on Seattle to the tune of about 63% of the money on the books that report to me. Uh, another one that's close to being a Joes versus pros, you got the uh, public right now that's leaning uh, towards the uh, Raiders, but yet at the same time, you've got a little bit sharper money coming in on the Colts in that, per, in that uh, particular matchup. And we will update all this, by the way. We'll have our updated around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 9.30 a.m. Pacific on ESPN National on Sunday, as we do each and every week when we give our betting update about 30 minutes before the games kick off. So be sure to check that out. All right, let's get to it. Vikings and the Buccaneers. You got the Buccaneers. Uh, here's the deal, first of all. If you want the Vikings in this game, you better not take less than seven because there are plenty of books that are offering seven. If you like the Buccaneers, you better not lay more than six and a half because there are plenty of shops uh, that are selling the bucks right now at minus six and a half. Listen, Evans and Godwin, are, they've been cleared to come back to play. It's been that way for a couple of days now since Friday morning. That's a big deal, obviously, for Tampa Bay. Loaded offense, weaponry everywhere, but you want Evans, you want Godwin on the field, you want to be healthy. Big difference maker. Uh, the focus has been on Brady when the team struggles, and you know, rightly so, but only to a certain point. I think he's taken a little bit too much heat because it hasn't been just his issue when they've struggled. And also, when you look at what this team has done as far as losses are concerned, three-point loss to the Chiefs, three-point loss to the Rams, they're seven and five, and yet they have three losses on the season by a grand total of seven points. It's how close they are to being nine and three or ten and two instead of seven and five. So I think folks are a little bit too tough on Tampa Bay right now. Obviously, in this game, the offensive line has to keep the pressure off of Brady. This year, as he gets older in his career, he's one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL in passing when he's pressured. So they got to work on that with the offensive line. I think they'll be fine. Vikings, listen, they have been a disaster against the spread the last 10 or 12 years off of bye week, going back about a dozen years. While Tampa Bay has won, or I should say has covered four straight off their last four straight up losses. I think they bounce back here, folks. Free play opinion on Tampa Bay minus the points over Minnesota on Sunday's NFL slate. Don't forget, star of the show, eight unit play in the NFL on Sunday. We cashed our college football eight unit play earlier this season by 42 points. Let's get another winner here on Sunday and Monday Night Football also in the same report. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. I'll be right back here late Sunday night. Let's put Sunday in the win column.